Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying the oven cleaner wood stripper sensation that has taken over the internet. I am sure you have seen it everywhere. I know that I have. However, I've only seen people do it on furniture and I mainly deal with smalls. So I went through my stash and I found a bunch of stuff that I really wanted to see what it would look like if I could strip the paint off of it. And this just seems like a, such an easy solution. So I'm excited and we are going to try it out. Now, my goal is for everything to look like this. I love the look of this rolling pin, the natural wood with some darker spots and some lighter spots, just really rustic and beautiful. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to take some really good before pictures of this so we have something to compare it to. Then I'm going to take these pieces outside and we're just going to see what happens. I am using the Fume Free Easy Off Oven Cleaner. I just simply ordered it off of Amazon and I will have a link in the description below for y'all. I decided to do this in my driveway. I just thought that would be the easiest solution and then I could just hose off my driveway after I was done. So I am just going around and making sure I have a good coat on all these pieces. The rounded surfaces like the apples and the candlesticks, I put a coat on them and then I turned them over and put a coat on the other side. That way I can make sure the piece was fully covered. Okay, now we wait 30 minutes and see what happens. It definitely looks like things are happening. I have some Dawn dish soap, a bucket with some water, and a scrub brush, and I'm going to start scrubbing these and see what happens. I just used my soapy water and my soft bristle brush, and I scrubbed all the pieces down. Then I sprayed them off with the hose pipe and let them dry in the sun. Now, as I was doing some of the projects, other ones were drying and I was noticing there was still residue on it so I grabbed a rag and started wiping them down really good after I had scrubbed them and that worked a lot better to get all the oven cleaner off the pieces. You can definitely see that there is stuff coming off these pieces but as I learned last week you really can't judge until the wood dries. Also, you should really wear gloves when doing this. I forgot to pick some up, so I just went without it, but I would definitely recommend wearing gloves. I was really excited about this experiment, but I am less excited about the results. It could be 100% user error as well. I have no doubt y'all will let me know, but I'm just going to go over everything that I tried the oven cleaner on and just show y'all how it came out. I'll put up a picture of what it like looked like before so we could kind of compare it. So these here, I don't find there's much change and I feel like there's still some residue on it. I think doing it in the bright sun was probably not the best choice but it was the only place i really had to do it so i don't know i'm not seeing too much of a change on these it's definitely lighter but by no means did it actually you know remove the finish so that's nice little thing these candlesticks also are definitely a lot lighter but you know it's not this was the goal for me this was the goal and that definitely did not happen. It, they do have a cool look to it. I think they look good as is. They're a little bit more distressed looking, um, a little bit more antique looking. So I do think they look better than when they started, but it just, you know, it didn't come out the way that I imagined that it would. And then the stuff that had paint on it, colored paint, that did not work at all. So this was a red candlestick. Now it's like a bright red. I think it was like a cherry finish before. Um, it came off in a few areas, but not many. 
And then these apples <laughs> just look sad. Look at, they like turned white. So I don't know what happened there. This picture frame, now it did take off most of the gold and the black that was on the edges. Um, and it did take off some of the finish on the natural wood. It definitely has a very aged look now, but not exactly what I was expecting. And it's fine. All of this is wood. I don't feel like I ruined it. It's just, it's kind of like when you paint something and then you decide you don't like the paint color. You just repaint it. It's no big deal. So it'll be fine. Uh, definitely, like I said, I was really excited to experiment with this because I saw some really great results from other people. Um, I don't know. If you saw something that I did wrong, please let me know. This little box, I feel like it really didn't do much to this at all, which it could be because of the material on the box, but I just wanted to try it out. I wanted to get a variety of stuff so I could really test this out. I didn't want to just do it on one thing. Y'all, these baskets, I'm pretty sure that it turned them darker. It definitely took off the glossiness that was on these baskets. I kind of like the look at, of them. Now they look um, more aged. So I'm not mad about these, but it, you know, once again, it's just not the look that I was expecting. Now, if you want to lighten your baskets, in my video last week, I bleached some baskets and that worked out perfectly. So that's what I would recommend if you were wanting to lighten baskets and take off the finish on them. I have no clue why these turned out darker. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Um, this one actually started to come out like it's supposed to. So you see it still has some glossiness and I feel like some of the rounder pieces were a little bit more difficult and might need more coach just because that oven cleaner is kind of you know falling off the rounded edges so this one was on its way it was on its way to what we wanted so that's a little bit a little bit better i feel like if i did maybe another coat of the oven cleaner and scrubbed a little bit more that this one would come out the way that i wanted these i feel like came out the best and they were also the lightest ones. You know, they started off with the lightest color wood. So maybe that has something to do with it because I feel like the darker ones did not come out how I wanted. So these came out pretty good. All that shininess that was on them before is gone. Let's compare them to our rolling pin. Yeah, I think these came out pretty good. So like I said, these started off with a much lighter finish than the other ones okay all right that that one's not bad that one's not bad okay this it definitely took off the shininess and this one may maybe with a second coat it would come out the way that i wanted it to but it definitely still has an aged look it's not bad it took off you know some areas more than others which is fine. I mean, that's what happens with natural aging, but I would like it to look like this in more places. So that's that one. And then the last thing is the piece that I feel like is the most like a piece of furniture. And it's almost like the oven cleaner didn't hardly do anything to it. I, I don't know what happened with this piece. And it wasn't I thought this one would have came out better because the finish wasn't that dark on it. So I really thought it was going to come out looking like this. How good would that look? So I'm kind of disappointed about this one. I did end up doing two coats on this one because I just really wanted this piece to turn out like I imagined. And I don't know, it just was not having it. So that is my experience with the oven cleaner method. Does it work? What do I think about it? I don't know. I mean, it kind of worked on some. It kind of didn't on other. It's hit and miss. Will I do it again? Probably not unless y'all leave me some comments and let me know that I did something totally wrong. It's probably not something 
that I would do again. But I definitely still wanted to upload this video even though it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. I feel like, you know, it's always important to try new things and you always learn something from it. I didn't ruin anything. All of this can be painted and redone and it was just, you know, something fun to do. So <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video even though it didn't turn out the way that I expected. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next Hey guys, future Julie here. So I was editing this video and the day that I filmed it, I was disappointed in the results and I feel like I was a bit dramatic in my conclusions. I picked a variety of items that I would normally pick up at a thrift store so that way I could try out this method and see what worked and didn't work. And then I was upset when everything did not come out the same. And the point of this video was to try all these items and learn what worked and didn't work. And that's exactly what happened. So what does not work is it does not work on colored items. Those items did not come out at all. It actually made them look worse. It also did not work well on the baskets. I think that the bleaching method would be better on baskets. But what it did work on and what I would probably use it again for is the smaller items that has lots of detail in it that you really want to tone it down, take off the shine and give it a more rustic look. Like this piece in particular, I think came out perfect. This is the look that I was going for. Also, I really like how the darker candlesticks came out. They're still dark, but now you can see the wood grain in it and it just gives this pretty antique look to it. Kind of like the one that I have sitting right here on my nightstand. So I do really like how these came out and I would definitely try it again on pieces like this. I think it is a perfect method, like I said, if you have a very detailed piece. What I don't understand is why the bread box did not come out because I feel like it started off with a very similar finish to this. And I don't know, I'm still kind of scratching my head on that one. So I just wanted to pop on in and now that I've had a few days to it on it and go back and watch the video I feel like it wasn't as bad as I initially thought and I would 100% try it again now that I know what pieces it works on and what pieces it does not so I hope y'all enjoyed this video in true Cajun fashion I say goodbye and continue to talk for 10 minutes I'm really saying goodbye this time y'all have a great day thank you so much for watching my video mm -hmm.